What's up guys, how y'all doing today? Got the Texas shirt on. And yesterday was heartbreaking. All great things come to an end and our winning streak came to end yesterday at the hands of the Colts. The score was closer than I felt like the game was. I felt like we started off slow. We never really got things clicking. And it just seems like we were always playing from behind. It was just one of those weeks. It was a rough week. We can't even get the rain game started, which stunted DeAndre, which stunted Deshaun, which just stunted what we do as an offense. And then on the defensive side, it's like we were getting stops. But then after a while, Andrew Luck turned into Andrew Luck and he went for almost 400 yards and he just went off and it seems like we were just giving up big chunks of yards like we would hold them but then on third down we would just give up a big chunk of yards and we, we didn't look like the Texan team we looked like for the past nine games you know what I'm saying like that Texan team yesterday was closer to the 0-3 team than the team that just came off a nine game winning streak you know what I'm saying like that team just looked different it looked slow to me and it just looked like we weren't in the right headspace and, and we just didn't look right it just didn't feel right the game just didn't feel like our game you know what i'm saying like it just felt like we were playing from behind to me it all really started when they were stopping the run like we can't run anywhere we can do anything with the running game with stunts our entire offense because our offense is built so much on the running game and i want to be critical of lamar but i can't even be critical of lamar because the coach were just Playing better defense than that. They were just stout up front. They weren't allowing anything to happen. And then once they stopped the running game, it seems like they were just sending pressure at Deshaun. And I love Deshaun Watson. The kid's great. You know, he's the franchise quarterback. I love the kid a lot. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I feel like he just holds on to the ball for too long. Like, you just can't hold on to the ball forever. Just get rid of it. Don't take the sacks. Don't take the hits. Don't take the loss. And there was just a lot of that yesterday. And I'm not going to say DeAndre Hopkins was locked up or anything, but like they took DeAndre away from us because we can't run the ball. And it's like when we would go to DeAndre, it would be he's getting overthrown. Or we, it's, ah, it's frustrating. Like yesterday's game was frustrating the way it ended was frustrating. The whole thing was frustrating. And it's like, they just played good defense. They just played great defense. And I feel like our defense wasn't even playing our full potential yesterday. I just feel like our defense was slow. I feel like it was like we were getting back to luck, but we weren't actually causing pressure and causing him to worry and to stress. You know what I'm saying? Their offensive line held their own. And congratulations to them and stuff. But at some point, it's like we still got to get some type of pressure. And I just feel like in the secondary, um, we were just giving up chunk plays like T.Y. Hilton went off against us and it happens every time we play the Colts It's like he's faster than all of our corners and you would think by this time we would have some kind of solution for T.Y. Hilton But it seems like every time he comes up to play against us. There's no solution that killed us Eric Ebron killed us You know what I'm saying it just seems like we couldn't get stops like we just couldn't stop the Colts Like we could get them to that third down, but they always ended up converting that third down on the chunk play yesterday when we went into halftime, that was the first time we went into halftime losing since our last loss. So that was already scary because we tend to not win games if we go into the half losing. And so I don't know what happened, honestly. I think we just weren't prepared for the coach. You know what I'm saying? We watched them lose to Jacksonville Jaguars 6-0 and we thought, okay, they not going to play us that hard. Like I knew they were going to come with it, but I knew they were going to come with it like that. And then I think the injuries caught up with us. I think Kiki QT being out definitely caught up with because as soon as DeAndre Carter went out, you have Joe Webb out there playing slot receiver. Like I just feel like Joe Webb should not have been out there. I feel like put Sammy Coates out there or just something, somebody else, or we should have somebody else who can play that slot position because Joe Webb's just not going to get done at the slot. Like Joe Webb does what Joe Webb needs to do for the Texans, but it's like as far as being a slot receiver, that's not what he's built for. That's not what his body's for. That's not what he does. You know what I'm saying? I would prefer to have coach out there or something, but <sighs> Yeah, man, it was just rough. I feel like injuries really caught up to us. Sharice Wright was getting burned by T.Y. Hilton. I wonder if Colvin would have done better against T.Y. I would have liked to see Colvin and T.Y. just to see something because I feel like Sharice Wright was getting burned that entire game. You know what I'm saying, man? And like I said, I think the injuries just caught up with us. And I just feel like the coach had our number. Like, I just feel like they caught us, you know what I'm saying? The cause lacking. Um, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Um, it would have been great to go 13-3, and three, but it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the Patriots losing and the Steelers losing. There's still an avenue. Hopefully, the Steelers can take care of the Patriots next week, I believe. And I know we will bounce back from this. It's okay. Um, 
And about the whole last sequence of events, I feel like we were in a position where we could have won the game down the stretch, you know what I'm saying? I would prefer to see an onside kick. Like, I understand what Bill O'Brien was doing by kicking it off and trusting the defense, but the way the defense have been giving up chunk plays and just the way the defense has been playing to that point, I would prefer to just get the onside kick or at least attempt the onside kick. And you still would have had the two timeouts, the two-man warning and all that. I just would have preferred to see an onside kick. But also, like I said in one of my earlier videos, the Davion Clowney, you can't jump off like that because he did the last time we played Andrew, like every time we played, Andrew like just Damian always gets caught slipping you know Andrew is always able to get him and make him jump and that's something that we can't have happen you know what I'm saying and so it's just it's frustrating it's a frustrating loss but like I said we should be okay considering the fact that the Patriots lost and the Steelers lost too hopefully the Steelers can take care of the Patriots we'll bounce back against the Jets that's all it's about now is bouncing back because you know you can't win them all but you also can't dwell on your losses I still think we are in a great position because nothing really changed for us yesterday we entered the day third place in the AFC and we're still third place in the AFC you know what I'm saying so um just next week we got bounce back and I believe we can do that I think we can take care of the Jets and you know I'm just excited for next week and we just gonna get this thing right we're gonna get this thing back in order you know what I'm saying man but hey man say man I hope y'all enjoyed this video go ahead like this video share this video comment on this video subscribe to the channel so some leather channel in your 2018 look man hey, 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 hey look y'all stay icy God above all else dexterous is out